Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eve here coming to you from Sills Motor Sales for another new bike build series video. This is one of our last videos with our 2023 BMW S1000RR because we have one final part to install on this machine today and it will be ready for us to give away to one of you outstanding people viewing the video on October 25th. So um, we're gonna install that part. I wanna show you some of, some of the cool goodies that you are gonna get along with the motorcycle in this video. So you better keep watching. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. For returning subscribers, tap that bell and you'll get notified when new content is uploaded. One of our last videos with this beautiful red 2023, Zach. Yup, not much uh, going on here, but we did get that carbon fiber piece that we were talking about last time ordered up. Yes. And I am just in the process of changing that, so. Okay. First, we're gonna swap this rubber piece back over to our stock tail cover. Lovely. So now the person can just swap these things and not yes. have to worry about it. And if you want red with carbon fiber, you could always put the carbon fiber one on the red. That would yep. look cool too. Yeah. And since it's literally one screw, I think pretty much anyone could handle that, right? I can. Yeah. Maybe you wanna install this, Eve? You know, why not, Zach? Yeah, you haven't done why anything not? for a while. Yeah. Because I didn't tell you this yet, but I'm going to actually borrow this piece that you're getting right now. Because uh, when I take my M1000 to uh, the Nashville meetup at the end of the month, I would like to borrow this piece and put it on my uh, M1000. <laughs> All right, so let's I guess see I if should you get... can line up the shapes. Okay. Ah, oh, wait a minute, Zach. You're complicating things. No, nope, it definitely nope, goes this nope. way. Let's see. See guys, this is why we kind of stopped. Me, I see, it goes right in there. You got it. There you we go. It. There you go, he figured but, out the puzzle. Yeah, this is why we sort of stopped having me install stuff on Build Series videos because it took too freaking long. <laughs> I thought it was just because I was so bad at holding the camera. No, you're actually good at that. It's requiring quite a bit, all right. Yeah, you you're probably cutting threads. It, it's like a plastic screw, it's called. So it's ah. coarse threads and you're actually making the threads. No way. You install it. Once you get it, once it's touching there, you just snug it. Yeah, because it otherwise it'll strip out. All right, cool. Look at that. I did it! <laughs> it looks way different. Yeah, it does. That is for sure. Well, let's go put it on the motorcycle. Okay. I'll bring both of them. It was a fairly expensive part, though. Yeah. I think it was like $350, and then that other piece was 140 or something. Jeez. Okay. Voila. Nice. I think it looks great. I think it looks fantastic. All carbon. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wow. All right, well, let's go. Uh, we got a cool launch mat, right? Yes, we have a launch mat and we've got some pit bull stands. Yeah, and we also have a Motul awesome. care pack. Yeah, come check out these pit bull stands. All right, so if we take a quick peek at my dingy stand here. Okay. So this is, this is how my handle locks in little bit harder to pull than just hit that lever. Yeah. And you can see it's a good bit longer. So that's gonna give you more leverage. It should make it easier to pick your motorcycle up. Just for curious sake. Okay, it fits and locks in. So yep. backwards compatible as always. They usually make their stuff that way. Uh, another difference noted is the swing arm spool stand itself is height adjustable on that setup now. I see. I'm sure that, so all these adapters would work. Like I could, we could take this adapter off and put it on here and then you'd have your pad. Cause this one's nice for if you're not running spools, you could flip yes. it to the pad. This one, you have to have spools on the motorcycle. But with the 23 S1000, you need to have spools anyway. You can't use a pad, it'll fall off. Correct. Uh, but yeah, look how nice that coating is compared to the it's beautiful. Well, you know, a pit bull offers a service act where you can get your stands recoded. I know they do that for free, but you got to pay for shipping. Yep. And I think that's probably the expensive part. Uh, and then if we take a quick look, so this is the front stand I usually use, which just goes on the bottom of the forks, of course. Yeah. Just right there. Mm -hmm. Um, this one, we, we got a headset stand for you guys this time. So that's kind of cool. Uh, comes really in handy if you use tire warmers or you want to be able to pull the forks off your motorcycle. So we'll show you how to use that. But if you wind up not liking the headset stand, all you have to do is undo these two screws here. Yeah. And if you look, you can order and buy these parts right here. It looks exactly the same. Yes. You just screw this on and then you can get the 
adapter so you just sit under the fork. Yes. And uh, you might be wondering why is the handle even come off? Mm -hmm. It's super nice if you park your bike on the stands and cover it up in wintertime or something, because it's real easy to trip over this yeah, handle. Yeah, I've done if it many leave, times. Yeah. <laughs> and then your bike moves and it's all scary. So yeah. it's super nice. The handle comes off. They always give a storage spot for it, just like so. Really cool. And then you can put a cover over your bike and everything fits awesome. Yeah, George and Charlie from Pitbull are amazing people. I saw them at the uh, Vintage Festival last weekend in Birmingham. Yeah, and if you're cruising around uh, Eve's YouTube channel, there's a whole Pitbull video. Go watch it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. They show you how they make the stands, how they get that coating on there and everything. Yeah. Really neat video. All right. So we got these brand new launch mats from our good friends at Launch Mat. You can get these from Moto Million. And uh, this is absolutely brand new. So we're going to take it out and we're going to put it, put our bike on this beautiful stand. Oh, you can order those from Moto Million now? You sure can. Cool. Yep. Manny's brother actually owns Launch Mat. His oh, name's right. Nima. Really cool dude. That's cool. So we'll take this out. I'm going to keep that because I want to transport it with that. Yeah. All right. And what I figured out is... I was going to say you figure this out. Yeah, yeah. This is actually for the front tire. Okay. Yeah. So, we'll roll it out this way. And I'm getting it nice and dirty. I was going to say, no, <laughs> you haven't figured out a good way to do it without getting it dirty no. yet. Wow, that looks cool. Yes, it does. There we go. I'll sweep this off so when we deliver it to the winner, it will be just like new. And it, it is a really nice lift with this longer handle. Very yes. controlled. And what's cool with the bike, once you get it up on the stand with the wheels, you can move it around a yeah. little bit, even by yourself. I don't know if it'd be advised, but. Right. George would be like, uh, no. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then our headset stand. Luckily, we do have a 2023 model motorcycle. So all we have to do is reach up underneath here and there's this little trap door. I think we showed it before because it was one of the new features if you go yeah. in the Wayback Machine to when we yes. first got this bike. Yep. So this guy pops off. You could probably leave it off or put it back on. I don't know, it should help with a little bit of air getting to the radiator. And they moved our brake line so they're out of the way. We need to get that pin up into the steering stem hole. Yeah, I see it right see over there. there. Yep. So it is a little tricky, especially the first time. Yes, but I can do it so anyone can. There we go. Seat it in there. Okay. And we do have good clearance between our upper fairing and our fender, so that's good. And whenever I do one of these, I do like to keep my hand in here though, just in case if it starts getting tight on your hand, yeah. you definitely would want to stop because that means you're putting pressure on a fairing, but they got that pin set real yes, nice. They do. Good clearance on everything. Look at it's that. Just, it was a little hard to sneak in past this. Yes. Well. That's nice. But Zach, is the front and rear, are they the same height now? Or do we need to raise up? No, I think we need to raise the rear. Yeah, raise the, the rear. rear. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to that last position. Okay. Looks pretty cool. It does. Race bike status with our racing wheels yeah. and SP tires. Yep. It's cool stuff. I like, uh, it makes it nice to kneel on the launch mat. Give you a yes. little padding there. Yes. Brought a little uh, Christmas baggie along with yes. you, huh? Kind of early. It's yeah. fall time, not Christmas yet. Yeah. Oh, it's full of Motul stuff. Indeed. Awesome. Insect remover, very important. Yes. I see a couple bugs on the front. Maybe you'll have to show us how that works. Yeah. Chain lube. Chain cleaner. Wash and spray wax, the best yes. stuff ever. Yes, yes, yes. And so that, what do we got? Oh, yeah. Oh, helmet clean. Helmet clean. That's some That's good stuff, too. That's important, too. Yeah. I haven't tried this yet. I'll have to try one of them. Yeah. But no, it's super nice. So this will all be going along with some of the stock parts, both your tail sections. Yep. And uh, as always, it's come together for a great new bike build series. Yes, sir. And someone should be super happy and has a very well running, I put about 40 miles on it so far. I might try to get back out for one more ride. Okay. Uh, the bike runs great. It, yes, it, it does. It really does. It rides and runs great. The brakes are so much better than the 21 I'm riding around on. Yeah. The, uh, the, the shifting so much better. Yep and the uh just the pull overall i think this does have different gearing on it it is it's quite the wheelie machine yeah with that alpha racing quick shift auto blips yeah. nice huh it is it, it is nicer yeah 
So uh, yeah, that's our final completed package. We'll probably go over all the parts we put on it next time. Yep. Either in a behind the scenes video or uh, yeah, it probably won't make it to YouTube. It'll probably just be behind the scenes. So yeah, man. If you want to see it, go over to Patreon, sign up, catch that video, and uh, that'll enter you if you'd have a chance to uh, wind up with this motorcycle getting delivered to you. Heck yeah, by Mr. Zach. 650 Eve himself. <laughs> well, Pitbull, to... great products as always. Thanks. Oh yeah. Launch mat, Moto launch Million, mat. of course. Yeah, Moto Million and Launch Mat. Tuning. Brand yeah. new stuff, I like it. Mm -hmm. Too bad we got it all dirty. Yeah, let's, I'll sweep it off for him <laughs> and roll it back up, put it back in the packaging. You want to fire it up one final time? Yeah, let's fire it up. Starts up great, guys. This is a cold start. Machine hasn't been run in a couple days. And with the Brentuni, this fires right up. And of course, it will have a full tank of fuel when we deliver it to you. <laughs> yeah, we got to get that filled up before we can weigh it. Yep. I am curious to see what the final weight number will be. Me too. I think it, it's probably going to be around 418 or yeah, something, right? Yeah, sounds about right, yep. The wheels were lighter, and the yes. winglets were substantially lighter. Yes. We got the light battery. Yep. Got rid of the mirrors. Yep. Clutch cover might be a little heavier. Yeah. So yeah, I think we'd be in the 418, 420 range, That's probably. That's 418. Yeah, 418, 419. With an extremely full tank of fuel. Yes. As always. <laughs> Sounds great. You can possibly still win this machine. The drawing is going to be on October 25th. Stay tuned. Somebody's going to be extremely happy when they get the call saying that they won this bike. Thank you, Zach. Yep. No problem. Thanks, guys. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. You got it. You guys take care. We'll catch you in the next video. We're going to sit out here and admire this bike a little more before we dis dismember everything and get it all packed up. Thanks for viewing.